When you start your journey in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you are given three quests to complete throughout your adventure in Paldea. The game insists it's your choice, giving you the freedom to choose your path of adventure and although this is the beauty of these games, for the most part excluding some late game area restrictions due to ride on mechanics, this is true. But due to the fact there is no level scaling in this game, where opponents won't match their levels based on your highest level Pokemon, when you mix up the order of things, if you visit Visit the later game gyms or team star bases you will be yep up against level 50 plus Pokemon with your level 5 starter. If you neglect certain aspects of the game or do them one at a time, it can create situations where you are seriously over leveled or worse, typically under leveled for some of the oncoming challenges. In this guide, I am going to go over all the best ways to approach your playthrough so you not only keep the game challenging but more manageable and don't get stuck at any point while you try and complete this great treasure hunt. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel remember you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to the three quests in the treasure hunt are the titan pokemon which is presented to you by arvin and involves finding and defeating five titans around the paldea region the league challenge with namona which is essentially like your typical pokemon adventure of visiting eight gyms collecting their badges and then taking on the elite four to try and become the region champion and finally operation starfall with casapia which involves taking down the five team star bases now not to spoil things for your own playthrough I will only note the types and levels of the challenges in each of these quests to help you best decide on how to approach all three of these challenges. Later in the video I will also give you my opinion on which route you should take in approaching all of these challenges. Now the eight gyms are located around the Paldea region and the typings of each gym are Grass, Bug, Electric, Ice, Normal, Water, Psychic and Ghost. Team Star have five bases and each one is based on a different type. You have the fighting crew base, the poison crew base, the fire crew base, fairy crew base and dark crew base. And the titan pokemon are based here on the map and are made up of the stony cliff titan, the lurking steel titan, the open sky titan, the quaking earth titan and the false dragon titan. All rock, steel, flying, ground and dragon types respectively. Now to begin with, we'll go through the levels and rewards that you'll get for beating the Titan Pokemon. The Stony Cliff Titan is level 16, so it's the lowest level Titan and for beating this, you will receive the dash function on your Ride Legendary. This allows you to press in your left analog stick and your Ride on Legendary will dash, will run, so it will make getting around the Paldea region a lot quicker. The next Titan is the Open Sky Titan, which is a flying type Titan, it is level Level 19 and the reward for beating this titan is the ability to surf on your ride pokemon the lurking steel titan is the next one on level 28 and once you've defeated this one you're going to be given the ability to jump a lot higher with your ride on pokemon meaning that you'll be able to get up and over some of the bigger obstacles around the region the quaking earth titan is the next titan and it is at level 44 which gives the reward of gliding once you complete this titan meaning that you'll be able to jump from higher points and glide with your ride on Pokemon, allowing you to get to certain areas that you maybe weren't able to get before. And the final Titan is the False Dragon Titan. This comes in at level 55 and the reward for beating this Titan is being able to climb with your ride on Pokemon, meaning you're going to be able to get around every single area of the Paldea region, giving you no limits with where you can go. Next up are the gym leaders. I'm going to give you the level of their high level Pokemon. They will have multiple Pokemon but the levels that I'm going to refer to in this list are going to be for their highest level Pokemon. The bug type gym leader is going to have their highest level of 15 Pokemon. The grass gym leader is going to have a level 17 type. The electric gym leader is going to have level 24. The water type gym leader is going to have level 30. Normal type is going to have level 36. The ghost type is going to have level 42. The Psychic type is going to have level 45 and the Ice type gym leader is going to have level 48. Then we'll move on to the Team Star bases. These are the levels of each Team Star boss's highest level Pokemon. We're going to start off with the Dark Crew base. This is going to have the highest level Pokemon at level 21. The Fire Crew base is going to have level 26. 
the poison base is going to have level 32, the fairy base is going to have level 50, and the fighting crew base comes in at a whopping level 55. Based on the levels of each challenge, I have put together this path to complete quests so you can do things in a way that fits the levels of the game, meaning your team can scale in the same way the gyms, team star, and the titans do. First off, I would head to Corondo Town. This is the bug type gym in the south province. Once you've beat this, then head to the Stony Cliff Titan in the south province area three. Next, head over to Artisan to take on the grass gym leader and then the flying type open sky titan. After this, you can head to the dark cruise team star base in the south province area two. And straight after this, take on the Team Star Fire Crew base in the East Province area too. Then head to the Electric Gym in Lavincia Town before taking on the Lurking Steel Titan in the East Province area 3. Next up, you can head out to Cascarafa Town to take on the Water Type Gym before moving on to the East Area Province 3 to take on the Poison Team Starbase. Next, head to Medali Town to take on the Normal Type Gym. And after this, you can head into the Glacado Mountains to take on the Ghost Type Gym Leader at Montenavira. Next, take on the Quaking Earth Titan in the Acero Desert before heading down to, to Alfora town to beat the psychic gym leader after this head back to the glissado mountains to take on the ice gym and get your final gym badge then head even further north to the north province area three to take on the fairy team star base and after this then you can head to lake casaroya to take on the false dragon titans before finishing up in the north province area two to take on the final team star fighting base i'm always going to suggest doing all of these challenges at the same time and not just completing one quest at a time but of course you can do them in any order you like that's what makes these games so unique this guide is to give you an idea of the levels and locations of these challenges and at least one path that you can follow that would allow you to level up alongside each challenge so you're not too over leveled for some challenges and definitely not under leveled for others when you're heading out towards the post game. I hope you found this video useful and I would love to hear your paths that you've taken on your adventures down in the comment section below so do leave them and let me know if you've got a better route than what I've suggested here. Thanks so much for tuning in, friends. If you have enjoyed the video, do drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet guides. And until next time, bye-bye.